before I could become a member of the Vlogs Biker Gang, I had to prove myself as a prospect. I went through months of hell trying to win my patch. The official sign that I was one of them. There were times I wondered if I was going to make it. But if I was going to infiltrate the gang and make amends for my past, I knew I had to stick it out. I'm Charles Falco, and this is my story. Consequences, huh? That's never any good at thinking through consequences. I guess that's how I ended up becoming a drug dealer and facing a 20-year jail term. Hey, guys. Hey, Prospect. Wash my bike. Yeah. Mine, too. I took a deal to go undercover in the Vagos motorcycle gang, thinking that'd be the easy way out. I should have known better. As a Vago prospect, I'm subjected to constant hazing. I have to do whatever full patch member orders me to do. It's kind of a, a rite of passage. Six months in, I was starting to think jail wouldn't have been so bad. Time for a little target practice. Guys, come on. Relax, it's an air gun, you pussy. It'll barely give you a well. What's going on here, boys? Prospect here is volunteering for some target practice. That's awfully generous of him. Don't worry, Prospect. Stash here was a sharpshooter over in Iraq. At least he would have been if it wasn't for that dishonorable discharge. <laughs> <laughs> Stand still, Prospect. <laughs> this one is coming right down the middle. Shh. Things out of gas. You want a beer? Oh, wait. It says we're done here. Come on, Stash. I do. Go get them beers. Kid sponsor me in as a prospect, so I guess he feels pity. He's just missing my ass. Side, dumbass. These guys think I'm going through this for the honor of their patch and a chance to be their brother. They'd kill me in a second if they knew the truth. <sighs> At the end of every night, I'm supposed to check in with my ATF handler, Cops. But some nights are longer than others. I hooked up with Susanna around the same time we became prospect. Obviously, I never told her what I'm really doing here. And at this point, I plan on keeping it that way. Oh, your girlfriend is screw off. Oh, yeah, we don't have time for that. I gotta get that. Oh, I guess she didn't want to talk to you after all. Yeah. I gotta go. What? Don't move, all right? I'll be right back. Okay. You know where to find me. Yeah. <laughs> Late night calls to run pointless errands is all a part of being a Vago prospect. Dark ones dash are hungry, so they order me to get them food. But this, it gets me into their house and a glimpse of all the illegal stuff they're mixed up in. I don't know. Feels light like it's a toy. No, it ain't a toy. High point 995. Best value sent me on the market. Yours for three ounces is hard. Darko, three ounces? Hey, come on, man. What took you so long? Traffic. We got a deal or what? 
Trade for three ounces. You can buy this for 400 bucks at a Walmart. 400 bucks. In the background check. Prices are a little higher than they said are low. Well, you cut three ounces and sell it by the ground. It's a lot more and a little higher. Who asked your opinion? These ain't got no serial number. It's untraceable. I'll give you an ounce for it. An ounce? Give me a taste, Dash. This is the first time I've run into Dog. Dog's a Nazi lowrider, part of a scary white supremacist prison gang tied to the Aryan Brotherhood. Schizo. Like the Vagos, Nazi lowriders are mixed up in the distribution of methamphetamine. Yeah? Like how much? Half a pound. Can you handle that? I'll get you a price. You got me the ounce. The gun's yours. Put the piece away, Stash. like a child molester. What are you staring at? You guys need anything else? Yeah. The schizo wants to party. You're coming. Uh, I got to work in the morning, man. Well, it ain't morning yet, is it? Come on. Let's go. See you over there? Yeah, you're dismissed. When the chapter president wants to drink, the whole gang has to join him. There's no choice. Stella bustles schizo's balls again. Some Mexican soap opera. It parties hard when he's in the doghouse. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on. So four hours after I narrowly avoided getting shot at the rat catcher, I'm headed back. I figure at least it's another chance to get noticed by Schizo. No, but the later it gets, the more I realize it's just another wasted night where I get nowhere. It gets even worse when I see things that I can't do anything about without blowing my cover. You okay? What's it to you, Prospect? She's fine. Yeah, just when I think the night's totally bottomed out, my chance arrives. Listen, asshole, there's a private party. Three idiots full of beer who think they're tough enough to start something in this bar. I said, this is a private party. What part of that don't you understand? Hey! As a prospect, it's my responsibility to protect the chapter president. I hate him just hard enough so he can get up before the rest of the gang can come and rat pack stomp him in the hospital. Quick on the draw there, prospect. Go get yourself a beer. Quick. Looks like you found your own name. I might have been a little too quick, man. I caught him right in the teeth. Nothing you can't drink off. I don't remember much else that night. One punch gets me my nickname. Quick. Charlie. Charlie! Guess me something else, too. A staph infection from the guy's saliva spreads from my hand, and I almost lose my arm. I spend a week in the hospital, leaving cause wondering what the hell's going on. Can't drop off like that, Charlie. But you're dead. Close enough. Get in the car. How many guns total? 
I didn't get a good look. Okay, they're stashed under the floorboards, like a half a dozen handguns, maybe. Plus the one they traded with this guy, uh, what is it, dog? Yeah, I guess so. Look, guys, I don't know how much more of their bullshit I can take. What's the matter? You're tired of push ups? All right. Oh, you want me to call you out? Get on this thing right now? Go do your time? Come on, Charlie. You just gotta be a bit smarter. You know? Think of it like a chess game. You make better moves, you win. What do you know? I got no moves, okay? This is nowhere. Whoa, 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 hey, where are you going? I'll show you something. How long have you been sitting on this? I've been waiting to get it registered in your name. Blend bureaucracy. There's something wrong with it? It's a bit of a yacht. It's a 92 Harley FLH. What are we hoping for? Hardtail chopper? <clears throat> if you wear this from a distance, you might look as cool as me. Oh, yeah? You ever consider becoming a comedian? <laughs> So whose bike is this? Strictly speaking, it's the property of the ATF. But I still think of it as mine. Oh, yes. Okay. Return prospect. Okay, bike's real heavy. Clutch is real narrow. Okay, you pop it, you stall. You think you can ride with that? Yeah. Yeah, okay, you see, what did I tell you? You pop it, you stall. A real gentle ease off. There you go. Nice and slow, nice and easy. Yeah! Ah, that's right. There we go. Nice and easy. Break. Okay, lots to work on. You practice off-road. Don't ride in your cuts till we get your license and registration sorted out, all right? You break it, you bought it. Oh, hey, Charlie. Next time you have to hit someone, Aim for the fleshy part, okay? <laughs> First thing I learned, you go any distance on a Harley, you feel like you've gone five rounds of the heavy weight. And believe me, at 771 pounds with a full tank of gas, a 92 FLH Electrified is a heavy weight. It takes me a few weeks, but before I know it, I got my license and I'm riding in my cuts. Now all I have to do is impress the right people. Yeah, Why don't you say you were pro? What? I thought you said you were pro. Oh, well, you know, installment play, little buddy. <laughs> One last thing I learned. Cops will take any excuse to pull over an outlaw biker. In this case, a broken taillight gets me a ticket and a warning to get it fixed within the next 24 hours. It also gives me an excuse to get in deeper with the oldest Vago in the chapter. A guy who knows more about motorcycles than William S. Harley and Arthur Davidson combined. Lizard. Prospect. What's up? I just need help with the repair. Is that cool? Bring it in. Right. For some reason, Lizard likes to work stark naked. Not that anyone would dare suggest that there's anything unusual in this. 92 FLH. Sounds like it ain't been run for a while. Where'd you get it? 
I know some guy in San Bernardino. He must have had it in his garage for a couple of years. You can tell him. Let's get out. stuff to do. Okay. Just a toke. You know, just having a bike ain't gonna get you no patch and you ain't gonna find it chasing around out there either. It's what you got going on in here. You think? Sure. When I go back to Lizards, I'm hoping for a bike that runs smooth, has a new tail light. Hey! What I get? Something else altogether. Hey! Hey, Lizard! Where's my bike? It's gone. What do you mean? Thought you'd like this one better. So you fixed the tail light. Oh, yes, I fixed the tail light. Then I started looking at all the dirty parts. Your camshaft had too much end play, so I gave you new cam heads, replaced the gaskets in your manifold and carburetor, and then I upgraded you to a six-speed tranny. Then things kind of snowball a little bit, so I decided to ditch the fender and the fairing the previous owner staked his cool on, and then I ditched the rear pussy shocks so that the proud new owner could ride hardtail like a man. Wow. That's a biker's bike you got there, Prospect. Thanks, man. You're welcome. Where'd you say you got this thing again? Some guy in the glass spots. Maybe you should take it for a ride by, so you can rub his nose in. Yeah, maybe I will. Look, Ed, you know, this kind of freaked me out. Um, how much is it going to cost me? More than you can afford, I'm guessing. Let's just say you owe me. Okay, you let me know. Don't worry, I will. Boys! Let's ride. Let's ride. First thing I notice is how much better the ride is after Lizard's work. It still vibrates like a beast, but it's a part of my body now. Second thing I realized is Kid and Lizard, they grew up on two wheels. It's like if this were the last minute on Earth, this way they'll die happy. Me? I'm verified. No, but I gotta keep up if I'm gonna be one of them. All of a sudden it hits me, I get it. Some small part of me, it really wants this. This is the whole point. Riding by the seat of your pants, taking it to the absolute limit, and facing your fears and just riding on past them. Rolling now. 
Uno, dos, tres. Es. Amigos. Ah. What is this? BC Bud. First time I smoked it, I picked a fight with a cactus. <laughs> How come we don't see no hash no more, huh? Yeah. Used to be all sorts of Moroccan black, Lebanese blonde. Do you remember that black tie stuff that I got up in his period? Mm, no. Neither do I. <laughs> The way I see it, if it ain't organic, it ain't good for you. I mean, everything you get nowadays comes from a damn lab. Hey, you know, Prospect here used to be a meth cook, right? Now, why'd you cook that stuff for? Well, I made about 100K a month. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. She, yeah. Yeah, big time, Charlie. Why'd you stop? I thought I told you. I got hooked on my own products. I just ended up that broke. You know, now I just stick to weed. Wow. <laughs> so how long you been in Vago? Patched in since I got home from Nam. Forty years next month. Whoa. And still no goddamn gold watch. <laughs> ah, but it beats the hell out of having a straight life job and being taxed up the wazoo to pay for the war machine. And... That big movie, The United States of America. Biggest damn lie ever produced. Mm -hmm. I remember when being Navago was about bikes and brotherhood. Now it's just like everything else. It's all about the money. Even Schizo acts like a damn CEO. Uh, sure as hell lives like one. And who gets their hands dirty, lining his pockets? Mm-hmm. I don't see none of us living high off the hog. I'm doing okay. Got my eye on a piece of land in Mexico. Got a view. Better than this. You gonna retire? First chance I get. It's not like I love dealing dope. I just do what I do to get what I want. What about you, Prospecto? What are you chasing? I want to be a Vago. Amen, brother. Amen, little brother. <laughs> Too much fun. Hey. Listen, Father. I've got a proposal for you. Most of the dickweeds in this chapter couldn't find their balls in a bathtub. You know what I'm saying? I find it hard to find them. Somebody I can rely on. Just thinking maybe you and I could try something. What do you got in mind? He wants me to sell a half a pound of crystal for him. Huh. What's this? It's a digital recorder. Records eight hours of audio. On. Off. Tabber proof. There you go. So what, this is like wearing a wire? Not really. I mean, it doesn't transmit to your backup. It's just, uh, well, it's just you recording evidence. So you want me to record the deal? You're gonna record every deal. From now on, every time you're with these guys, you're gonna record every conversation. Wait, wait, wait. Look, if this evidence gets played in court, they'll know that I snitched. No. No, we bank it. Nothing gets used till we pull you out. And when's that? When we've got enough. Now listen, we only have two of these, so don't lose it, all right? Fill it up, you bring it back to me, we swap it out for the other one. Where am I supposed to hide this? Because they frisk people, okay? What if they find this on me? Yeah, I'll probably shoot you in the face. So hide it well. Uh-huh. <laughs> Come on, Charlie. We've done deals bigger than this in the past. You'll be fine. Tasso was right. I'd done lots of deals with heavy guys. Enough to know that things could go seriously wrong. My ex-partner Bernard is a Bulgarian mobster who used to move a lot of coke and meth. One of his suppliers was a member of the Triads. 
You know, they always took precautions. Packing a gun, that's expected. You get caught packing this thing, I'm dead. These things are taking time bomb. You gotta hide it somewhere where they'll never look. Prospect, the... This is eight ounces. Price is 12 G's for... Feel the guy out. If he tries to pull anything, you walk with the double. If it goes good, you let him know there's a steady supply. Who's the bar? Stash knows the details. He's coming? Yeah, yeah. I got this. Schizo doesn't want a prospect doing a deal this size on his own. All right, let's roll, prospect. Just make sure nothing goes wrong. You know how sometimes you get a weird feeling that things are going to go bad? If I had been smarter, I would have backed out the moment I realized that Stash was coming. So I'm wrong? Yeah, I'm wrong. All right, this is it. And it gets worse. This is Doc's place. Whoa. Dog's the bar? Yeah. She got a problem with that. All right, we're here. Nazi Lowrider's reputation for extreme violence has made the gang a major problem in the world of California's organized crime. This deal's worth $12,000. And Lowrider's... They've been known to kill for a lot less. Come on in, but he knows we're coming. All right, let's drive around until he gets back. No, no, no. We'll wait. What, right here? What's wrong with you? Are you worried the neighbors are going to bite you? What the hell's that? Seriously? It's an asthma inhaler. I've never done asthma. Let me try. Come on. Hey, just leave it, okay? My battery's fried. I'll just leave it, man. I used to play this when I was riding around in the Cayman in Iraq. I was playing when we hit an IED, blew the whole damn floor out. You were really in Iraq? Yeah. I mean, on a full tour, a couple months, yeah. What happened with the mine? Blew the driver's whole leg off. Bled out pretty fast. We were screwed, man, an hour without backup. That's when you find out who your brothers really are. Leave it on, Come on, man. man, my battery's screwed, okay? You really think you're a king freaking shit, don't you? I'm just saying. Oh, you ain't just saying. You act like you're full patch, but you ain't done nothing for the club. Do you have any idea what I've done there? Hey, yeah, cops come. And maybe it's good that Stash is here after all. <laughs> and that, that makes me even more nervous.
Let's see the product. Oh, I see here, dog. You're dealing with me. Is this the same shit I ordered? Yeah, of course it is. It's all there, right? Hey, I trust you. It's just kids' orders. I gotta do this. One hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred, eight hundred, and nine hundred. When are they done? I can't kill my head. I never could. Sixteen hundred, seventeen hundred. 1800, 1900, 2000, 2100, 2200, 2300. Got that high point yet? Yeah, I wanted to talk to you about that. Just shooting cans out in the desert. Nice gunner. It's a piece of shit. Yeah, the scope's off. Six, seven. No way. Gotta be your aim. It's not my aim, it's the gun. It's a piece of shit. Just respect you and my house. Yeah, I would if you hadn't ripped me off with a piece of shit. Pow. Just like that. I ripped you off. Why don't I kill you? You're done. You don't want to kill me. Do you know? Oh, yeah, just punch me in the face and call it a night. Your guess is all there. And get out of here before I change my mind. Next time, leave your buddy at home. Punch him in the face and I'll call it a night, you asshole! Hey, hey, hey. Get the gun away. Get in this. Get it. Stupid sign is worth it. Oh, man, this is shit. And that's when this cop starts asking questions. So at this point, the money's where? Now I'm cornered. Now either I tell the truth and make an enemy of Stash, or I revise the facts a little. Stash had it under his seat. <laughs> What's going on? Thing won't start. My buddy drove me out to look at a basement apartment. Didn't like the apartment. Didn't seem to like the neighborhood much. We came back out and the battery's dead. you try the ignition for me, please? Sure. Would you be able to give us a jump start? I don't carry cables. You're lucky it's a standard. You get it coasting downhill, you can pop it in a gear and get it started like that. No kidding, that really works? Any chance of a push? Okay. You got the cop to push. Worst <laughs> <laughs> thing I ever saw. That took some balls. 
prospect, give me a beer. It's your own. You're a real funny shit, Falco. You didn't tell us how he got that gash over his eye. I guess he must have got it when he was help pushing the car. Is that your guess? So other than that, no problems. No, dog got the product and you got your money. So we're all good, right? All good. Except for that bullshit story of yours. <laughs> you want a beer? Yep. I'm glad you can make it out tonight. So stuff screwed up, left you holding the bag. I gotta take a leave. Oh, you would not believe the night I've had. You like telling stories, huh, Prospect? Would you rather tell them the truth? Hey, I got my eye on you. Yeah, that's why you piss on your boots. Oh, shit. You guys know my stories, Bull. But except for the part about Stash, it's totally true. like Cos says, this is chess. And I gotta play these guys against each other if I'm gonna survive. Somehow, I survived my run-in with Dog and made it through a grilling from the guys. Not only that, but I also collected evidence for Cos. Okay. Last thing I want to do now is get caught with my pants down. Uh, I just want to grab a shot. <laughs> Don't. I like it when you kind of sweat off. Uh -huh. <sighs> What's going on with you and Schizo? And what do you mean? I saw him hitting on you earlier. <laughs> I told you before. Him and Stella have a bit of a thing going on for me. It's a bit weird over at their place right now. Oh, yeah? mm -hmm. You want to move in here? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're going to tell me. Yeah, yeah. Oh. There you go. Their own errands for once. I don't know, this one looks Cuts. What? Give him the cuts. On the floor, give us 22, prospect. One. 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 We were thinking we might play another game of William Tell. What do you think? Anything you want, man. On your feet, Prospect. Remember that background check you filled out for us? 
Seems there's a few crucial details you forgot to mention. Strip off. Why? You heard me. Now, where would we be if we couldn't trust one another, Prospect? Are you caught, Falco? Just give me a break, man. <laughs> This is all about. It's like I said. We ran that background check. And it turns out you weren't exactly straight with us. It turns out you're a much bigger asshole than you claim. <laughs> Five minutes. So those on your cuts. And just like that. Welcome to the Vargos, asshole! Yeah! I'm in. Full patch. Maybe we could do some good shit, Charlie. You think about it. I survived six months as a prospect, but there's something else, something I hadn't expected. I'm proud I passed their tests. I'm proud I get to wear that patch. I have no idea how this is going to play out. The only thing I can say for certain, I'm finally a Vago.